This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Now we are going to study the second fundamental force that is electromagnetic force. The force acting between charged particles is known as electromagnetic force and this force it mainly acts between the two charged particles. In the simple case uh, we can say when charged particles are at rest the force between them is known as static electric force. The magnitude of force obeys Coulomb's inverse square law. What is that law? So what is this Coulomb's inverse square law? Yeah, the force between two electric charges is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. For like charges, this electromagnetic force obviously we all know it is repulsive isn't it for like charges the electromagnetic force is repulsive and for unlike charges the force is attractive isn't it so it mainly acts between the two charged particles I said see when charges are in motion they produce magnetic effects isn't it uh, if I say this is a conductor a uh, charges are moving in this conductor from okay from this direction to this direction and uh, this motion of charges they constitute electric current isn't it which means this conductor is carrying electric current so when this charges they move inside a conductor along with this electricity they'll also produce magnetic effect surrounding the conductor isn't it so the intensity of this magnetic field get changed because of the motion of the charged particles okay depending on the motion of the charges the velocity of those charged particles this intensity of the magnetic field surrounding the conductor will change okay hence in general we can say this electric and magnetic uh, forces are inseparable hence we will uh, uh, we'll call it by a common name that is electromagnetic force ok like gravitational force electromagnetic force is also a long range force and does not require any medium and this force is very strong force compared to gravitational force okay it is a very strong force compared to gravitational force the electric force between two stationary protons for example is uh, we can say 10 raised to 36 times the gravitational force between them if uh, between two protons the uh, this electromagnetic force is 10 raised to 36 times greater than the gravitational force if we compare this uh, electromagnetic force with the gravitational force uh, the difference is uh, 10 raised to 36 times this electromagnetic force is even stronger we can say okay and I said this uh, the force between two electric charges uh, is uh, directly proportional to the product of the charges and uh, it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Here we have considered two positive charges and since these two are the first one uh, the, since these two are the like charges the force is repulsive isn't it. So that uh, force uh, is uh, given by 
f12 and uh, it is uh, equal to this k is a constant uh, product of this charges q1 q2 and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and in the second case we have considered the opposite charges okay the charges of opposite polarity so in that case uh, we can say uh, the force is uh, f21 is equal to k q1 q2 by r square but whatever may be the polarity of the charge if this q1 and q2 and r if all these parameters are equal then we can say f12 is equal to f21 and uh, that is equal to f okay that force of uh, electromagnetic force between these two positive charges is equal to the electromagnetic force between a positive and a negative charge got this okay this is all about the electromagnetic force that is the second this uh, what we can say the fundamental force and uh, if we move on to the next force that is nothing but strong nuclear force so what is this strong nuclear force so the name itself says uh, that nucleus it is all about nucleus isn't it so we know that uh, nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons isn't it yes but proton is positively charged and neutron is chargeless but still uh, that electromagnetic force is between two positive charges isn't it and uh, inside the nucleus we have several protons so there should be a force of uh, repulsion between them isn't it but still we find that we will see that in nucleus all the protons or neutrons are binded together in a uh, very small radius in a very small space isn't it why is that so if the two like charges are in a such a very small space and since they are of same uh, polarity there should be a force of repulsion between them but that is not the case instead of the force of repulsion all those charges are binded together inside a nucleus isn't it yeah that is called as strong nuclear force and it overcomes the electromagnetic force between two protons between two protons isn't it yes and this charge independent force is acting between proton and proton proton and neutron and even in between neutron and neutron okay this indicates that within the nucleus there must exist a strong attractive force to bind the proton and neutron together so as i told you it overcomes all the other forces and within the nucleus the protons and protons are binded together protons and neutrons and neutrons and neutrons are also binded together and this uh, strong nuclear force is 100 times greater than the electromagnetic force okay this is 100 times greater than the electromagnetic force so because of this only we you know it is possible to bind two positive protons okay and uh, as this force exist within the nucleus it is a short range force the strong nuclear force is the strongest of all fundamental forces okay since uh, this force we can see only within a very short uh, radius range of about 10 raised to minus 15 if the radius of uh, this atom or any other particles if it is greater than this then obviously we will not see this strong nuclear force the protons uh, the two positive charges if uh, will repel in that case if the radius is more than this 10 raised to minus 15 this strong nuclear force is uh, 
true or it exists only within this radius range that is 10 raised to minus 15 okay and this is the strongest of all the other forces this strong nuclear force is uh, strongest of all the other fundamental force compared to all the other fundamental force this is the strongest force coming to the next uh, fundamental force that is the weak nuclear force uh, this weak nuclear force it appears only in certain nuclear processes and even in uh, like beta decay radioactive uh, reactions in all these things we can see this beta you know weak nuclear force in beta decay the nucleus emits an electron and a chargeless particle called neutron here it, this is a beta decay process in this the nucleus it emits an electron and a chargeless particle that is called as neutron so the this weak nuclear force arises due to the interaction of neutrino with other particles okay this neutrino is uh, responsible for this weak nuclear force whenever this uh, neutrino interacts with other particles uh, this weak nuclear force uh, it arises in that case and again this uh, the range of uh, weak nuclear force is also of the order of 10 raised to minus 15 meter range okay similar to that of strong nuclear force okay so it is a it is only in certain nuclear processes and radioactive reactions we can see this uh, weak nuclear force and that too because of a chargeless particle neutrino okay so in short we can say the four fundamental forces in nature uh, according in this table uh, we can see the relative strength okay in what range that force exists and uh, the range and operating among the first uh, one is uh, gravitational force we can see isn't it So the gravitational force the strength is 10 raised to minus 38 and the range is infinite because of this only it is true in all the objects of the universe okay and uh, the next fundamental force is uh, weak nuclear force and its range is uh, 10 raised to minus 13 okay relative strength is 10 raised to minus 13 and uh, very short within a range of uh, 10 raised to minus 15 meter so as i told you before isn't it uh, it should it is it exists only within a range of 10 raised to minus 15 meter and uh, this kind of force exists only in case of elementary particles that is neutrino when it interacts with other uh, uh, you know elementary particles okay then only uh, this kind of force we can see and uh, the third one is the electromagnetic force and the relative strength of this force is 10 raised to minus 2 and uh, the range of this electromagnetic force is infinite okay again it is true uh, in uh, all the charged particles so both uh, electric and magnetic uh, fields uh, or forces are inseparable so in general we'll call it as electromagnetic force uh, and this last one is the strong nuclear force as i uh, told you before this strong nuclear force is the strongest of all these uh, uh, four uh, fundamental forces compared to other three and this strong nuclear force is a very stronger one strongest one and again it is uh, we can see this in the nucleons that is uh, neutron and proton the binding force between two protons between two neutrons and uh, between a neutron and proton uh, we can see this uh, uh, the strong nuclear force okay which overcomes the electromagnetic force and even uh, this electromagnet compared to this uh, electromagnetic uh, force this is uh, 10 raised to 36 
compared to this uh, electromagnetic force this strong nuclear force is uh, very much stronger uh, and compared to the other forces electromagnetic force compared to gravitational forces again it is very much stronger and uh, the relative strength of this strong nuclear force is 1 and again the range is very limited very short i can say uh, it is only within a nucleus of uh, 10 raised to minus 15 meter range okay both strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force range is only 10 raised to minus 15 meter so in the next part we are going to study about the the nature of physical laws